Hey, what's going down everybody? It's your boy Onto The Boss here, and you are checking out the first ever episode of Around The Gaming League. Now, what this episode is all about, what this series is all about, is pretty much what you see on the left side or the right side of the video. I don't know where I'm standing right now, but there's like a drop list of what's going to be included in this video. Now, the first slide is the online ranked game of the week. Now, what this means is I'm going to pretty much show you guys my best online footage of the week like if I played online but whether whether it's Madden or NBA 2K I'm gonna pretty much show you guys what went down in that game that I played so that's the first one second one is caller of the week I will be calling someone around YouTube it might be around YouTube might be around my friends it's gonna be someone that I'm gonna be calling you guys will hear the conversation it's gonna be pretty exciting pretty interesting third slide will be it's called IN what that means is interesting news whether it's around gaming news, sports news, something interesting that's going on, I will share it with you guys. And the final, fourth and final slide will be the Gamer of the Week. Now, the Gamer of the Week will be selected by the commentary, the quality of commentary you guys present. And the only way I will see this or pick the winner of the Gamer of the Week is if you guys post it on my Twitter, Facebook, or if you put it in your video response and I check it out and I like it. You guys will have a chance to be on my next episode. But without further ado, let's get into this. And first up, we have the online ranked footage. So we begin here in the fourth quarter being down by 11 points. And this is where we pretty much started making our comeback. Wesley Matthews here tries to brush off Cockover and he finally does. Pushes him out the way, puts up the shot, doesn't go in. And we are now on a fast break here. Cockover to Richard Hamilton, Richard to Taj Gibson for the layup. Portland Trail Bears score again, so we are down by 11 points once again. Kyle Corver dunks the ball, gets fouled, so it's a three point play. We cut it to eight points, and now Derrick Rose with the inbound gets the shot to go down, and it's only a five point game now. Derrick Rose here once again. Buys two defenders and puts the shot over them. Two point game now. Now Wesley Matthews drops it in, gets the dunk there. So it's a four point game once again. But with Derrick Rose, anything is possible. Puts out a mid range shot, cuts it to two points. And here we start with Taj Gibson giving it to Derrick Rose. And we tie up the game now. Now with 50 seconds remaining, Portland Chili Bears are trying to do anything they can here. Wallace gets blocked. We are on a fast break, trying to take the lead here. I give it to Derrick Rose, wide open three, and it goes in and out. So we get another chance here with 34 seconds remaining. I try to hold the ball here, but I see Brewer. Brewer fakes it, gives it to Gibson. Now Derrick Rose, another wide open three, misses it. But Hakeem Noah collects the ball once again. And right here, I just pretty much try to hold the ball to get a last minute shot. So will Derrick Rose hit the game winner after this crazy comeback in the fourth quarter? We're about to find out. Nine seconds, eight seconds, seven. Well, there's three seconds remaining in the shot clock. I start making my move. Mid-range shot doesn't go down. Joaquin Noah gets the ball once again, and he gets blocked. We are headed to the first overtime. So here in the overtime, tied up. The Trail Bears get the ball here. Gerald Wallace gets a good mid-range look, and that is good. So we are down by two points. Now the Blazers get a wide open three-pointer look. I'm playing Felton doesn't make it and he doesn't. So we have an opportunity here to tie it up. I give it to Hamilton. Hamilton to Luol Deng. And we are headed to the free throw line. Let's see if Deng is going to come up clutch. First one is good. Dang with the second shot now, and this is a slight early, but it goes in. Chile Blazers with the ball with four seconds remaining, and Wallace's shot does not go down. We are headed to a second overtime. And here in the second overtime, it was pretty much our game. We took over, starting with this possession here. Derrick Rose finds Luol Deng. Luol finds Carlos Boozer in the paint, wide open. Next play now, Derrick Rose, mid-range shot. And that is unstoppable. Rose, good. So we're up by three points here. And Luol Deng takes it inside, gets blocked. Derrick Rose takes it out with two seconds remaining. Guy all over my face, and I drain that shot. My opponent pauses the game, 
and I can tell this guy's upset. He's probably trying to say this shot should have been blocked. So he is upset. I got a clutch shot to go down. I'm up by six points here. He puts up a three point shot with 50 seconds remaining. It doesn't go down and everything is pretty much going my way here. I'm gonna try to put the game away here. With Derek Bros, anything is possible. And I give it to Richard Hamilton right there. He should have taken the shot, but he doesn't. Now I find him again in the corner. And he finally drills a three-pointer here in overtime. And this one is pretty much over. So it was a wild game here in the online ranked game. Chicago Bulls against the Portland Trailblazers. We went to two overtime, and I came up clutch. And this is a tough, tough, tough game. Now that we have the online ranked footage covered, it is time to contact my first ever caller of the week. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Hello? Hey, what's going on, boss? Hey, Q, can you hear me? Yeah, you, you hear me, man? Yo, what's going on, man? Uh, <laughs> what's up? This is QJB. We are joined by QJB, a sports commentator and a machinima sports director. And Q, man, I'm just going to give you the spotlight right now. Tell them what you do, man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the man of the hour, QJB, a.k.a. Cleveland. And, yeah, like um, Boss said, I'm a machinima sports director, machinima partner. Um, I'm also a Game Face Studios director. Y'all may have seen you, you uh, see me, you may not. I'm pretty new around here. But if you come to my channel, um, I, I'm, I'm most known for my montages. I just been getting into commentary for uh, Madden 12 and NBA 2K12. Um, I play my player and superstar and all that good stuff. So if you like what you hear, you know, you can come and check me out and we can go from there. Definitely check him out, the man of the hour. Not only does he have good gameplay, but he also has some kick-ass editing. So it's definitely worth it. Go to his channel, subscribe, and I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be disappointed. So I'm running out of minutes, man. But Q, any last-minute words before I head out? <laughs> man, I'm sorry for using up your minutes, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't have much minutes this month. As always, as always, folks, you know what it is. That's nasty. Now let's check out some of the interesting news around the gaming league. There's a lot of interesting stuff going around yet, but there is one interesting news, and that is Team Tebow is probably going to be on a Madden 13 cover. I know it's not official yet, but a lot of people are predicting it, and he is more than likely, with the season that he had, with all the drama that he went through, he is more than likely the lead vote getter of Madden 13 cover. So Tim Tebow fans, Tim Tebow, anybody that likes Tim Tebow, tell me what you think, and tell me if it's a good idea. Next up, it is time to check out the Gamer of the Week. Get ready for this exciting footage. What is going down with you YouTube? You got your boy, they call me Kuda5, and I'm back here again with my Madden 12 Tampa Bay Buccaneers franchise. And we're gonna be going up against the San Francisco 49ers in Candlestick Park here for a tough matchup, and we are looking to hopefully advance out to 5-0 in week five of our season. So Alex Smith now drop back in the pocket on third and he's going to complete the pass to Frank Gore, his star running back for just about a 10-yard gain. So now moving on in, Frank Gore taking matters into his own hands and he's going to run that one for 9 yards. So now the 49ers are driving on their very first possession. Walker now gets his turn at a nice catch there for just about 7 yards. So moving on in here on third and three with just about 7 minutes left to go. Hunter will be stopped short a few inches of a first down so David Akers will be forced to kick that field goal but now the 49ers are up 3-0 to zero. so the Bucks are looking to do something on their very first possession and like Eric Blunt is going to do just that picking up a 10 yard gain and moving the chains on the very first play so now like Eric Blunt once again a very very nice run as he was able to run outside and then go back right through the hole for a very nice pickup so now Freeman scrambling and on the run he's gonna look and try to find Mike Williams but the pass ends up getting batted down for an incompletion so on fourth and inches Barth is gonna be forced to kick a very tough field goal with the wind being a huge matter in this and 
It ended up being so as he did miss the field goal by just about a few inches. A little short on that one, but 49ers now got the ball right back. And Alex Smith, a very good quarterback so far this season, but he will end up throwing. So, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Around the Gaming League. Of course, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, favorite it. Make sure you tell me what you think about it. And again, guys, if you're trying to be on the next Gamer of the Week, Post your videos onto my Twitter, Facebook, or post it under the video, in the video right the response section. I'll check it out. It has to be a commentary. If I like it, you guys will be in my next Gamer of the Week or my next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, hopefully it's going to be a good series. I appreciate everyone's support, and I'll see you guys next time.